Hey guys, it's Sean, TM Short Classics, but today I don't have a classic. We are test driving a 2003 Hummer H2 sitting on 26s, and we're either going to take it rock crawling, monster trucking, or just up to the airport. So today we got a little bit of a treat. So we're going to take this little thing out. The treat is, it's fall, y'all, in Eastern Kentucky. Turn that down. I've been driving this around for a couple of days just to make sure she don't need nothing. It's fall in Eastern Kentucky. The leaves are changing, so as we ride up to the top of the hill, we'll pan out. And y'all can see what the tree lines look like up in the hills here. You can see a little bit right in there. They say the colors ain't gonna be as pretty this year as what they were last year because of the temperatures and weather and rains and uh, global aligning of the climate changes of the forecast of the future or whatever they call that stuff. I don't know what that all that is, but they say the leaves aren't gonna turn, they're just gonna fall off, but guess what, they turn. That guy wasn't friendly. This ride, Pretty sure it's a 6.0 uh, engine that was replaced at 90,000 miles with a new engine. It's got 164 912 on it right now, but like I said, it's been replaced. I don't have paperwork on it. I just knew the previous owner and I trust him, but there's no warranty or anything on the motor or anything, so. We have fixed the air conditioner. We put tie rod ends on it. We've done, uh, a uh, bunch of odds and ends stuff to it just to get it ready. So as far as underneath suspension wise with the loop kit, about everything's new. Literally, if you got a Prius or a Tesla with a junk battery and don't want to spend $25,000, you can buy this for $25,000 and you can go monster trucking with them and do a cool YouTube video and make more money, like Whistling Diesel does. Have y'all ever watched Whistling Diesel? That dude would buy a Hellcat or a Lambo and just totally dog it. It makes a fortune off of doing it. I've been thinking about buying me a Chevette because that's about all I could afford and, and doing that. And you know, my tens and tens of followers and viewers online would help me at least make 80 cents off the video, something like that. We do have the, the front uh, drive line for the transmission has been removed to disengage the four-wheel drive, and it was done for gas mileage. This guy's off the brake. Do -do, do -do, do -do. But if you want to pull up to a stoplight and everybody look up to you, and I literally mean look up to you, as y'all seen in the picture of it, that she's a beast. It steers really nice, it doesn't pull. It's got the big old tires and wheels on it. Great, great uncle, great uncle actually, 
Kentucky, uh, over in Knott County, just, you know, Bobby me over every day. He was actually on This Is Your Life uh, in the 80s, I remember, getting to watch that. That was pretty cool. I think he, they did a story, he was like the last known mail carrier by a mule or by a horse in America. Or one of the last, something like that. I've got the best of this city. She's gonna hand the phone over to me and I probably just blocked it off and say hi. Hello. She's froze to death. We gotta get this done before the chickens are put them back up. So you can see the mountains. Go ahead and zoom out. Trees turning. Well, we're gonna pan around. There's Miss Froze to death. There she is. O3 H2, 164,000 miles. I TIS off road with 37 by 1350, 26, 1350, yeah, but 26 wheels. It's got on the passenger side. See if I can reach up there. Ah, can I reach it? Yeah, I can reach it. Passenger side has a couple little, it's like the paint's lifted on it. Look at there. That's extra. This is for when your double wide gets stuck when they're putting it in. You can pull your double wide in the truck pulling it. The step bars have been added. There's a little lifting spot I was talking about. It's not rust, it's just lifted. It's got cat skins in it. They're new. The leather had a little bit of wire on it just cause of miles and year. So got some buck skin, cat skins on it. And I think I said that. Step bars are brand new. power seats and everything works on it. Heat works killer, ain't it? Like I said, the AC does work too. I'm going to shut this thing off what runs out of gas on me. we rolling off the top of the hill here. side a little wear here I'm gonna pop the hood will you could uh, let me pop the hood pops like an international truck does 
but it does not have the DT 466 diesel. But we're picking up tomorrow. If you say, Sean, I love an H2, but I'll be honest with you, I want something that can drive the local lake and I won't hit the bottom of the water because it says it's up so big. We've got a former military issue Humvee diesel 6.5 conversion that will be posted probably tomorrow, if not Friday. What is that? It's Tuesday or Wednesday? So, oh, probably Wednesday, if not Thursday. I don't know what day of the week it is. But it's, uh, I know it ain't the first. My chick ain't coming. I don't think I know. Uh, but we'll have that one that we'll post up probably tomorrow. Um, we'll be picking it up. Let's see. Yeah. So I can take it back without sticking my fingers in the way. She is Vo Vortex 6.0. Carfax is clean on this. It's not rebuilt, not salvaged, nothing like that. Cold air induction on it. The windows on it are sick. They're dark all the way around. And you can see surprisingly well out of it too. Let's see, let's see if we can get down. Don't have to get down too far on this one. Solid underneath. There. Get a winch on this thing for you. I say stuff like that, trying to be a comedian. And there's comedians starving to death on the streets every day. Those were, don't go with it. Well, they can if you don't buy it. But they, they were bought for it. They were just seat covers and it didn't fit. So they went with the baller style covers. There she is, folks. The beast from the east. You call me the new age mouth from the south. Ugh. Don't let me forget the last yet before we leave. But there you go, guys. We're about 13 minutes in. I'm sure half of y'all probably clicked off of me by now. But for the half a half state, thanks for watching. You can check us out at TimShortClassics.net. You can also check us out online at Tim Short Classics on social media, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. I think our, no way, our TikTok is Hillbilly Cats because we are Hillbilly Cats, Elvis fans. But anyway, check us out online. Call me at 606-220-3225. Again, that's 606-220-3225. We can get this thing financed probably up to, uh, let's see, 84 months. 10% uh, down with approved credit, and we can ship it to your front door. We had it shipped to here, so we do know a carrier can pick it up. Again, guys, thanks again for tuning in. Hope you all have a great rest of your day. God bless you all. Stay safe. See you soon.